Hi there guys and welcome to Dino's Vault once again. Today I am here at the Shikain Circuit at Leonia Resorts in Hyderabad for a casual track day event. And as I started to catch up with some of my fellow YouTubers and other biking enthusiasts, I realized that when it comes to motorcycling, there is more to it than what meets the eye. Which is why I thought I'll do a special video trying to figure out the same. Uh, for those who are, uh, who are listening to the word chicane for the first time, a chicane is a term uh, that is used to describe a method or a system wherein multiple back-to-back -back turns are thrown in on a road, be it on a racing circuit or a motoring road in a city to slow down, uh, slow down the pace of the vehicles flying on it. In a racing circuit, it is used especially after long straights to allow the racers to overtake one another or counter each other's advances. This track here at Leonia Resorts in Hyderabad is something that uh, the entire Hyderabadi biking fraternity can really rejoice about because though there has been uh, some other go-karting circuits in the city, this one serves as the best training ground for all the wannabe pro bikers out there. And for those who are already halfway into the super sport culture, the Shikane track allows you to further fine tune your pro biking skills such as cornering, braking, etc. As mentioned earlier, I tried to catch up with some of my uh, some of the motorcyclists gathered here and I tried asking them what motorcycle really means to them, what is their uh, driving force behind their need for speed on two wheels and as I tried to string up a conversation with them I realized there were bikers who find uh, solace from broken hearts while riding bikes and we have riders who realized at one point in time in their lives that uh, we only live once so it's all about ride or die and at the same time I was also mightily impressed by the selfless and positive attitude of some of the experienced riders out here who did not hesitate to share their experience by giving pointers and lessons for wannabe pro, uh, pro bikers uh, to help them uh, get started on a journey that would completely re refresh and rejuvenate their lives forever. So first of all let's uh, start out by trying to blast through the track course to give you an idea how well they have built this track so you better hold on even as I, I try to hold on to my camera while I am aboard a KTM Duke 200 that is ridden by Mehir Chadda.
Now that was one hell of an experience and the track is so beautifully laid out that it can be enjoyed by both amateurs as well as pro riders. Now coming back to the conversations I tried to string up with some of my fellow YouTubers and the experienced riders here, this is how it turned out. Okay, we have here uh, Vikas from uh, uh, immotorbiker.com. I'm, I'm immotorbiker.com and uh, he's a video blogger and bike enthusiast and an avid uh, super bike rider. He, <laughs> and uh, we have uh, like I just want to ask you like like what what makes you passionate about motorcycles most? Oh uh, well, I've always liked motorbikes. Uh, however, I was 27 years old a few years ago and I realized if I don't do it now, I probably might not be able to do it ever. Okay. So I went out and bought a Yamaha R1. Okay. And I thought I'll only ride on weekends, okay. but it just got onto me, and now I kind of I cannot live without riding motorbikes. That's great. That's what. And it, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I ride a few motorbikes: okay. Yamaha R1, okay. a Jigsaw 1000, okay. a Duke 390, okay. and a GSX 1100F. Okay, which one of them, uh, like, have you brought brought out here to the track here in uh, Leonia? Here uh, in I believe uh, for this track, which is a small but very technical. And a good track. We are very fortunate to have it in here in Hyderabad okay. because we had nothing. So I believe the Duke 390 or the RC 390 is the best. We don't need anything more than that. Okay. And a good skilled rider on a okay. Duke or RC 390 can get any even a MotoGP bike here. Okay. Yeah. When when it comes to a track-oriented bike, which one do you prefer when it uh, when you are taking it out on a circuit like Buddha International Circuit or a pro racing track? Which one which one would you prefer based on your experience or on the bigger bikes or on the, the bigger bikes okay bigger bikes i would say if you have to buy something from the showroom today i would say if you just have to buy it don't spend time on uh, you know uh, doing it up doing the suspension up doing the brakes up then just go out and buy the daytona 675r you don't need uh, anything more than that. Okay. Yeah. What is your piece of advice for the uh, wannabe bikers or wannabe pro uh, super sport uh, riders in here in Hyderabad or all over India? What would be your advice as an experienced biker? Yeah, I would say safety first. Even for a short ride, see, uh, lead from an, by an example. You could be going to a neighborhood store to buy, a, you know, a loaf of bread, but put on your helmet and uh, make it a lifestyle. Okay. Thank you, Vikas. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. It was a pleasure. And uh, let's hope uh, we race on together. Thank you. Thank you. So we have here uh, Mehir Chadda, who's been a pro racer and uh, has been uh, pursuing his passion for quite some time now. And uh, all his experience that he's garnered, he's trying to share with the youth so that uh, they can uh, be helped and they can uh, improve their skills and uh, grow up to be uh, proper super sport uh, bikers. So, Mihir, what do you think about the uh, superbike culture that's tr trying to catch up with the youth and uh, where do you think we are headed? See, when uh, back about 15 years back from now, all we had was the charisma. Yes, there exactly. was nothing else. And uh, back then also they were enthusiasts but they were very restricted. So now with so many options, every kid wants a bike. Everybody wants to go big, right? So, it's, it's really catching up real quick, right? Everyone, right, you get a Duke 200, you get an R15, and now though you have Triumph, you have Benelli, you have Ducati, you have everyone entering the market. BMW, everything's available. Okay. So superbike culture can catch up. But the culture is not about buying a bike. The culture is about how to ride it. Okay, that's great. And uh, finally, we have something to rejoice about at, uh, here at Hyderabad. Shikane that we have uh, Shikane Circuit, uh, something where we can uh, like put to test our uh, bikes. Uh, uh, we have proper track here. So what do you think about this track? See, the only other Rotax track. Rotax is a go-karting uh, Championship. So the only other Rotax track was Lehri before this, okay. and Lehri was phenomenal. It was actually good, and they have actually made this even better. A 1.1 kilometer go kart track is ample space to learn on, to have fun on, on a small bike. Okay. It's it's good. It's probably not as big as a you know circuit we have for national championships, okay. but it's fun to learn on. You can learn so much more on these tracks okay. than you could over there. Okay. Now uh, one more question: What would be your choice of bike? Uh, given the kind of uh, like culture that is catching up, you want to you know hit the track on weekends and uh, want it to be practical at the same time on a day-to-day -day commute. What would be your choice of bike, personally see, speaking? Personally, I see I have an FZ. Okay. So I ride that only. Okay. Oh yeah, I have an RC. I have a Continental GT. Okay. But I ride my FZ on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay. But if you want one bike, I would suggest like, and if you're just entering this segment, it should be an R15 or an RC200. Okay. Depending on what you're upgrading from, if it's your first bike and you really want to buy a sport and you want like something edgy, get the R15 or the CBR150. Okay. But if you then if you want to even tour and you want to do other things, get the Duke 200. Okay. And if you are willing and if you have already owned like a Pulsar or like a 150 or a 180cc bike before, you can go for the RC200. Okay. 
ओके थैंक यू वेरी मच मेहर थैंक यू फॉर योर एक्सपर्ट एडवाइस थैंक यू फॉर योर चेयरफुल एंड पॉजिटिव एटीट्यूड एंड ट्राइंग टू एजुकेट पीपल अराउंड एंड इट्स रियली बी नाइस टॉकिंग टू यू इट्स प्रिविलेज एंड ऑनर ऑल द बेस्ट विथ योर फ्यूचर एंड अवर्स टेक केयर ऑल द बेस्ट टेक केयर रॉक ऑन Hey guys uh, now we have the heartbroken biker here the cape crusader <laughs> in the youtube channel the, uh, who runs the motorcycling uh, vlogs and uh, something unique about his channel so he's here to tell us uh, what makes him the heartbroken uh, biker first of all so tell me brother what makes you the heartbroken biker uh, because i'm heartbroken that's it so, so <laughs> who broke your heart oh uh, some relationship <laughs> that went bad oh my goodness so you know what happens when relationships go bad people uh given to sometimes drinking sometimes drugs and all so you take up to motorcycle yeah i thought that's a great my that's a way to go buddy yeah, so i bought a bike and that was my like a psychiatrist for me so yeah so, so that's, that's great how, uh so what made you come up with this youtube channel that's uh, something unique st- a stand out channel from uh, the regular reviews or uh, uh, other videos that we get to see in other channels yours is has a unique approach to your uh, channel so what makes you unique or stand out and what made you ins- what inspired you to come up with such a channel right hey, so i don't do reviews uh, so what i did was when i started touring on my bike i f- i found peace in touring on my bike so i took out a camera and i started recording my tours to start with uh, it was just for myself when i grow old i'll probably look back to these videos or show it to some of my close family friends things like that i never wanted to start a channel or something but then i had to store it somewhere so i put it on the cloud so that's on youtube cloud so that's how it started and people started watching the videos i didn't kind of expect that people would watch my videos thanks you thank you very much and all the best with your future videos and uh, uh... now summing it all up guys uh, there's something really important about motorcycling that i have learned after this encounter not only is motorcycling all about having fun and experiencing the thrill and the sheer adrenaline rush it is also about regenerating your lost energy uh, reincarnating your downcast spirit and completely resurrecting your inner being because every rider has a story to tell and every bike a memory to leave behind so that's about it for now i just hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video until next time this is dino saying ciao take care and god bless